guys and welcome back to my channel and today we are just going to film a how-to on making your own uh, cloth wipe solution this is a super easy thing that I've done and um, I think that sometimes cloth wipes kind of get a bad rep because a either the cloth wipe solution is expensive um, B sometimes people think that you know, it's kind of going to be a pain. It's really not. You guys will see. It literally takes me like three minutes flat. And honestly, I don't even have to measure anything out anymore. I just like throw it in there and roll them up and then we're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get started. All right. So what we're going to need, we're going to need some, you can use um, baby washcloths or cloth wipes of your choosing for the purposes of this video. I'm just going to use some regular baby washcloths. We're going to need a measuring cup for our water. We're going to need a bowl to mix everything together and to soak our wipes in. You'll need a whisk, obviously, to mix it all up. Um, you're going to need some baby lotion. You can use lotion of your choice. This is the one I'm using. Not for any particular reason. I just like the scent because it's lavender. Uh, for a while, um, baby had some sensitive skin, so we were not using anything with any fragrances or um, anything like that. We were using some natural stuff, but just the one of your choosing. You're going to need some tea tree oil for the antifungal and antibacterial properties. And if you know that brand, comment below if you recognize it. But I will also link everything in the description box um, in case you just want to use exactly what I used. The uh, next thing is some coconut oil for... It just kind of helps make everything just kind of soft and um, helps to keep moisture, not moisture in baby skin, but just kind of keep everything soft and um, almost works as, because you can actually use coconut oil as a cloth diaper cream too. So when you have it on your cloth wipe solution, it really helps to help babies but not dry out. And then you're going to need um, whisk, mix everything together, and then somewhere to put your cloth wipes. When you're done, you can use this, or you can put them in a regular wipes warmer. It really doesn't matter. It's just kind of whatever your preference is. All right, so I went ahead and put a tablespoon of our coconut oil in there. And now I'm just going to pour in three cups of our hot water. And that um, coconut oil, you can see, is already kind of starting to dissolve. And then I'm going to take that same tablespoon that I used for the coconut oil, and I'm just going to, well, if I can get it out, um, I'm just going to kind of three quarters of the way up, fill up some lotion in there. And you can use more or less to your preference. Um, I really just use the lotion for the softness and for the smell. All right, so now we're just gonna pour in, if I can get them out, a few drops. You can do two or three, it's also to your preference. Um, I know some people don't like to do three just because that tea tree oil, the smell is kinda strong, but that's really just up to you. Sorry about that noise. So I'm gonna give this a quick stir and then we'll put our wipes in and roll them up. All right, so I gave that a good whisk, and that's kind of the consistency there. It's just kind of oily water. And what you're going to do now is, I might have used too small of a bowl. The one I normally use was just dirty, um, because I actually just did all mine. But you'll just put your wipes in. You can do them all at one time. Usually, um, if I use the really thin baby washcloths, which are actually my preference, I will just put them all in there and grab them out one, as, one at a time as I need them. So you'll put it in there, make sure every, you know, they all get soaked really, really well. Because if you're doing this with multiple, um, sometimes the middle ones will get, um, stay dry. So you'll just kind of roll it up like that. And you can store them in whatever fashion you want to. I like to roll them and, of course I can't get that open. <laughs> I like to roll them and then um, just kind of place them all individually side by side. And I will also link below um, the washcloths that are my preference um, if I can find them. And I use Amazon for all my links, but that doesn't mean that's the only place that you can get them. That's just the place that I use um, because I feel like that's just kind of a very typical place for people to order items from. And then I just store them like that. And I've used a wipes warmer. I've used one of these. Everything works just fine. They don't really dry out. Um, they stay pr 
pretty nice and moist. Actually, the ones on the bottom tend to get super wet down there. So sometimes when I'm grabbing out, because I'll have them stacked, and then when I'm grabbing out the last of them, um, I kind of just squeeze them out a little bit because they tend to really soak up all of that drainage. And that's it, guys. It's really simple. They work really, really well. And then, you know, after you use them, you just throw them right in the wet bag with your cloth diapers and you wash them the same way. And they've always worked really good and they've helped, um, even when we have diaper rashes, if we've been using disposable wipes for a while, I will switch back to these just because they keep babies, um, they keep baby's bum a lot more moist and a lot more, uh, less likely to get a rash. So... If you have any questions, please comment below, or um, you can also feel free to email me. I'll have that linked below, too. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down, you know, whatever's your preference. And when you're storing these, also try to remember that you don't want to make enough for, like, two weeks' worth. Um, just because there is water in here and lotion and other things. And, you know, these are cloth. They will start to mold. You know what I mean? Don't mind the staining on this one. That just happens sometimes. I don't know what it got washed with. But, um, you know, they will tend to mold because, you know, it's moisture and cloth. So you want to make sure. I usually make enough to get me through until I'm washing my cloth diapers again. So I'll usually make two days worth maybe three like very very max but I wouldn't make any more than that just because you don't want to end up getting to these bottom ones and then finding out that there's mold because nobody has time for that so right, guys so that was it for today's video I hope that you enjoyed I hope that you learned something um, if you try this and it works for you, awesome. Comment below, let me know if you have something else that you use and, you know, that works for you guys. Also comment that below because I love trying, you know, new things and I might find something that I like even better. I would love to hear from y'all. And, um, you know, I had so much fun making this video. I have fun making all my videos and I really thought that when I started making these that, it would bother me that, you know, I don't have a ton of subscribers, I don't have a ton of likes or comments or anything, and that's okay. Um, I thought that it would bother me a lot more than it does. It really doesn't because I have fun making them, and if only one person ever watches these and, but you know, if they learn something or they just enjoy watching them, I'm okay with that, you know what I mean? Because I just have, I, I do, I have a lot of fun making these. So um, I hope that, you know, y'all enjoy them. And like I said, like, comment, subscribe. It is super appreciated. And if you have any questions or comments, um, I will leave my email in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.